Okay, all the butt joints done. Corner blocks are all in. I'll leave extra glue squeeze out there because this wood will suck that up. Yep. So, there's the vertical fin in place. Drying. And tomorrow I can take it out and sand her all flush and get the uh, gussets in for each one of those joints there. it's stapled on. I'll do this. Flip it over. And that allows the uh, extra glue that squeezes out to stay in those corners. And making the joint that much stronger. One around, I squeezed each one. Anywhere there's uh, glue pucking in and out, flip it around, stick another staple in there. Got the left side gussets are all stapled on. Flip her over. There. And let the glue settle out where we want it. And that's it till tomorrow. Well, there we have it. One vertical fin built. That's how you build a triangle. <laughs> yep. So, doing the laminations for the rudder now. And that's all I got left. For the tail feathers, build the rudder. And I can start hinging. So it would be six laminations of one eighth by three quarter inch uh, spruce. And what I did, I just I did with the uh, stab. So I soaked these in water. And then I just blocked it in place to get the shape. And I only soaked this in because this, this bend here is not severe enough to warrant. Uh, using water on it so I just soaked this one end because it's so we got a pretty sharp bend here so while this is drying one of these has already been done um, I made up just another temporary jig as you can see she's just straight um, to maintain the bend in the first one I did this fellow's drying and I just stuck some pieces of scrap in here to and along with the other piece just to allow it to dry up thoroughly and then tomorrow I'll uh, put uh, the first lamination in which will be in on the inside here as you can see I got the vertical or the rudder spars already in this is the doubler here so this is uh, three quarter by one this is three quarter by three I'm gonna cut it up here roughly and just put a 45 degree cut on that basically it's like building a big model airplane uh, like a big scale model airplane except uh, I'm gonna get in and fly it so 
Yeah, we got that done. So this is drying. It's dry the touch now, but I'll just leave it overnight. Yep. I'm not going into the great detail because this building this is going to be the same as the the other uh, tail feathers got sitting on the back of the fuse over there. So probably in the next video we'll be pretty much rounding it off and uh, hinging it probably. That'd be it. What is this? December 30th. So I started on it again last night. So it was December 20th, 2013. <clears throat> and uh, finally getting back at her. Because again, the Snowbird uh, major repairs and, and an engine replacement. So that's about it. Onward bound. <laughs> um, my goal for this year tail feathers in, controls all hooked up, turtle deck done. Uh, once the, control, the rudder pedals are in and done, then I can put in the firewall and have the landing gear completed. Once all that's done, like all I gotta do with the gear is rig up the axles and the wheels. Once that's all done, um, then I can go on and build the wings after I mount the engine and take this foamy piece of crap off there. <laughs> yeah. and, oh, lots of projects, lots of projects. All kinds of unfinished stuff here. Okay, there's the sixth and last lamination on the rudder. So we'll let that dry. And tomorrow, Give her a sanding, get everything nice and flat again, and I'm gonna start putting the uh, the uh, gussets on it. So I got the three-inch strip going down the leading edge, and uh, six lambs, one-eighth by three-quarter inch spruce. And of course, got the gussets all done. She's ready for hinging. They had this butt in. So we got a one inch piece here. The, run, the leading edge runs the full length. But in here, they got another two inch. Of course, it's giving me a total of three inches here. But they had this rib come in and just had corner blocks with no gusset bracing. I didn't care for that too much. Especially when I was looking at when you're bolting your uh, your horns here for your rudder cables. So with the load I kinda cut a V out and I put a uh, gusset in here that uh, just the whole works. That way I'm not really weakening anything, especially where I'm going to be cutting a pie shaped piece out of here for your uh, elevator trailing edge to swing inside there. So, I turn this around. See, I can swing it around with one hand. It's not very heavy. Um, I just cut out the, the length of uh, the trailing edge, or, or I should say leading edge of the elevator. And of course it'll be pie shaped. Like I said before, it'll allow for the swing. So as you can see, it goes in quite far. Now, the, the triangle blocks I did put in, but uh, I just kind of felt better about it putting this gusset on over the whole works. There's no triangle blocks here. But then that goes in a good two inches to the leading edge. So she's all feather edge, ready to go. I use one eighth ply. Instructions say to use sixteenth, and the plans say to use one eighth. So I went one eighth, and I was informed that one sixteenth would be would have been fine. 
but it's glued on. All the tail feathers are done the same way. So, in hindsight, um, 1.5 or 16th millimeter or 16th of an inch would have been fine. I suppose this uh, probably adding a little weight to it, but it's also adding some strength to it. But it's the uh, marine ply, so it's a little lighter than the birch anyway. But there she is. Stand back, look at her. And I'll uh, toss a picture of a clamp to the airplane. Next step, hinges. 